if I just impose a name that I want on you, guess what I can also do? I can change your history. I can even change your character. But your character was always the children of Israel. You know, you know when I look at my brothers, what I see? I see that programming of you got to go hustle and get that money. But if you break down the hustle, it's you selling stuff to your people that they destroy. It's, it's big talk right now because you're making money. But when you get behind that car, um, that patrol car, that police car, that's when brothers start to say, hey man, what the shit you say? What that Bible was talking about? Now you want to pray. Now you want to think about God. Jacob Trouble is your father's last attempt to say, wait up. Because if you don't, you're going to suffer something you've never seen ever again. Gonna be some morning. You never know the song could be your final warning. Judgment day, judgment day. When they crack the sky, judgment day, judgment day. You're gonna die, judgment day. You say only God can judge me. Well, trust me. So check this out. If you don't know your name, guess what you don't know? You don't know your history. Uh, if I just impose a name that I want on you, guess what I can also do? I can change your history. I can even change your character. Cause if I start calling you mad dog, mad dog, hey mad dog, and you like, well what does that even mean? And I start pushing into you that you need to be angry, you need to be violent, you need to do those things, don't go sis. Then I can just change who you are. But your character was always the children of Israel. What does that even mean? What does the word Israel mean? Bring Brother, what's your name again? Caleb? And that's a heavy name. You know where that comes from? The Bible. But who was Caleb in the Bible? Because it's going to leak with what I'm talking about. There was a mission given to the men of Israel to go check something out. Don't be afraid. Go check it out. You know, don't, there was only two people that came back with a true report. Like, hey, I don't, hey, we can take care of them. We can handle these people because we got our God backing us up. Now, give me what Israel means. Genesis 28. Because that's going to link up with Caleb. You know who Caleb was? Caleb was a spy. A warrior sent out to go tell a report on the land. Guess what? Caleb came back and told the truth. Right. Caleb said, I fear no man. I have a God. That's who you named after. Watch this. Read. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 28. Right. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So that's our forefathers, brothers. That's our forefathers. His name was Jacob. He created these 12 tribes. Read. Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, uh -huh. but Israel. Uh -huh. For as a prince, no, as a nigga. For as a prince, Negro. For as a prince, Muslim. For as a prince. We was always princes. But if I don't call you by that name, you have no idea. That's right. For as a prince, what? For as a prince, thy power with God. You have a special connection with the Heavenly Father. You know why? Because y'all under the covenant. Right. He made a covenant with the children of Israel. Uh, that means truly, when you pray, you're praying to a real God. The other nations, they don't have a real God. You know how you know that? They worship the star. Right. When you look at Islam and all those other religions, why does it always have something dealing with the sky to show its power? With us, it's because we understand the word of God. You understand? Now, he asked the question, what does that even mean? Your heritage is, you're an Israelite. Give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 46. Now, I'm going to show you something else that comes with not knowing your name. You live a lifestyle that's programmed on TV. Uh, See, women, they think this is beauty because of magazines, because of music videos. Right? Like for example, so watch this. For example, now, they my brother, those are our brothers. We love our brothers. We love our brothers. But you know what's heavy? You know, you know when I look at my brothers, what I see? I see that programming of you got to go hustle and get that money. You break down the hustle, it's you selling stuff to your people that they destroy. That's not building a nation. But watch this. Give me that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. The day is talking about the curses. What are the curses? The curses is our young princes of God would be sitting at a gas station selling poison. That's a curse. That's a curse. Another curse is prostitution will be in your neighborhood. Drugs will be in your neighborhood. Sickness will be in your home. No father would be there to raise the son. Am I making sense, my brother? That's curses, right? I'm going to show you it gets even deeper. Jump up to verse 45. Verse, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. You know what's heavy about that? 
Why is it that I could go to California and find a ghetto? Why is it I could go to California and see my brothers doing the same exact thing at a corner store, at a gas station in a whole different state? You know what's heavy? We got brothers that travel to different countries and they see the same thing, international. Caleb, you with me so far? So I ask you, because I'm going to deal with you as a brother. How do you see the condition of the so-called black man in America? How do you see him? Do you see him respected? Do you see him, do you see him treated as a prince or a king? What do you see? Exactly. You see him treated as a dog. I'm going to show you the first in the Bible that you probably know what that. Going back to our sisters, do we see our sisters being treated as women of dignity with class? No, sex symbols, right? Give me, you shall become low. Uh, verse 43. Verse 43. The strangers that is within thee. The strangers are all these other nations. It's crazy how going back to ghettos in different states. I could find a nail shop in Florida ran by a Chinese woman making a whole bunch of money in the hood. Right. I could find an Arab running a gas station in the hood. Right. No matter what state I go to, these strangers, these other nations, the strangers that is within thee shall get above thee very high. They had a better condition than the so-called black man and black woman. Watch this, read. And thou shalt come down very low. That's what you just said. We getting treated dog, dog bad. I don't want to curse, but you know what I'm saying? We at the bottom. But why is that? Why are we? Then it's not even feminism, me. No. But you got to understand, that feminism was pushed on y'all, so y'all wouldn't respect the so-called black man. That was to make a divide between the man and the woman, so y'all wouldn't work together. So there is no sign for us to go to the wilderness before Jacob's trouble. The scriptures talk about, and if you understand what Jacob's trouble is, there's going to be a level of persecution here in America that you've never seen. When COVID came, what was the supermarkets? Were they booming with a whole bunch of food? People were fighting over toilet paper. Right. Give me Jacob's trouble. What you don't understand, because you are Jacob, there's gonna, hey, bro, you just asked the question. Hold on, hold on. Okay, don't leave, bro, come and get the answer. There's gonna be a persecution that comes over these people that they, they, they have never seen. Why? Because the faucet, the EBT, the SNAP, all that easy money and easy food is gonna be cut off. Right. So now everybody's gonna be at each other's throat just trying to survive. Exactly. I'm going to prove that in the scripture. Exactly. That's what I was Watch this. Hey, what was your name, bro? Jeremiah 30 and verse 6 to 7. What was your name? Terry, watch this. I want all of y'all to get this because this is what we're warning you about. And guess what? The only people that's going to make it through there is the people that know their Israel and keep faith in the Messiah and keep the commandments. Read that. Yeah. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Ask ye now. And see whether a man do it travail with child. Hey, watch this. This what this is this is how the prophets write. It says, ask you and see if a man travail with child. Sisters, when a woman is about to have a baby, is it a pleasant feeling or it's hard? It's hard. It's very hard. To the point the woman, she's always rubbing her stomach. She's always crouching. Watch what the verse say. Read. Ask she now and see whether a man do it travail with child. Uh -huh. Wherefore do I see every man with his hand on his loins? He say, I see every man like he about to have a baby. He holding his stomach. Why is he holding his stomach? Because he's in anguish. He's in pain. He's in vexation. Watch this read. As a woman in travail. Comparing it to a woman about to have a baby. Watch this read. And all faces are turned into paleness. All faces are turned into like, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got hungry kids at home. The supermarkets ain't working. What am I going to do? Watch this read. Alas, for that great day, so that none is like it. He just told you that so that none is like it. You're going to see America in a way you've never seen before. There's going to be news stations popping all over the place. This is crazy. Watch this. Watch this. Brother, this your answer. Read. But alas, for that great 
day so that none is like it. Uh-huh. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. What is it? It is even the times of Jacob's trouble. He's talking about Jacob's trouble. Now, why am I, why am I, Matthew 24, start at verse 6. Why am I showing you this? Messiah talked about it too. But what did he tell you to do? He told you to prepare yourself. Right. Prepare yourself. Right. Why? Because he has to afflict. Matter of fact, I'm going to just prove this point. Give me Hosea 5. He has to afflict the children of Israel so bad to the point they say, God, I need your help. Yeah. That's the only way he, that's the only way he gets our attention. You don't notice that? When brothers like this, it's big talk right now because you're making money. But when you get behind that car, um, that patrol car, that police car, and you know, you get to the station, it always get real at this moment. When they say, hey, take off your shoes. Oh. Damn, I ain't going home. I ain't going home. Take off your shoes. I ain't going home. You ever been locked up? You know that time. Like, damn, you ain't going home. Teach us. And the crazy thing is, week for week, month for month, you see people going and coming. You see people coming and going, and you still in that same cell. Like, hey, boy, I got some time coming. That's when brother started saying, hey, man, what the scripture say? What that Bible was talking about? Now you want to pray. Now you want to think about God. Because you're about to get in front of that judge. Watch this. Your heavenly father told you. Nation is 
FM. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 